Hey there Windowers and welcome to another episode of Windows on Windows, part of the series on the development of Windows 98. In this episode we'll be taking a look at Windows 98 build 2222A, the official final build of Windows 98 second edition, compiled on the 23rd of April 1999, and less than one year after the release of the original Windows 98. This build fixed many bugs identified in the original release of 98, as well as many updated system components such as new versions of Internet Explorer, Outlook Express and more. So without further ado, let's take a look and let's start. So here we are at the desktop of Windows 98 build 2222A and this was the official final build of Windows 98 second edition or Windows 98 SE. Now SE was originally meant to be released as an update to the original Windows 98, firstly as the Windows 98 Multimedia Update or Multimedia Update 1 and later as Windows 98 Service Pack or Service Pack 1. It was also originally planned to be made available to original equipment manufacturers or OEMs as an OEM service release or OSR in a similar fashion to what had happened with Windows 95. Now because of this, early builds of what would become Windows 98 SE called themselves variously Windows 98 Multimedia Update and Windows 98 Service Pack and had to be installed on top of Windows 98 First Edition which was, remember, build 1998. Now build 2017 which was compiled on the 2nd of July 1998 so about two months after build 1998 is the only known build of Windows 98 SE to refer to itself as Windows 98 Multimedia Update. Then quite quickly Microsoft appears to have changed plans with build 2088 compiled on the 21st of October 1998 so about three months later thought to be the first build to call itself Windows 98 Service Pack. Now by build 2106, which was compiled just under a month after build 2088, are you still with me? On the 18th of November 1998, the references to Windows 98 service pack within the builds had been removed, which indicates again another fairly quick change of strategy from Microsoft. Now build 2106 calls itself simply Windows 98 within the build itself, however it's interesting to note that on the CD itself that the build was distributed to developers on, it's called the OEM Service Release 1, so apparently there was still no finalisation on the name second edition at this point. Now the first build that we know of that is definitely referred to as Windows 98 Second Edition is build 2183A, compiled on the 3rd of April 1999, so about 5 months after build 2088. And the name Windows 98 Second Edition can be found in this build just like it would be in the final release. And around three weeks later, on the 23rd of April 1999, Windows 98 Second Edition was finalised and released to manufacturing. So, all in all, a very quick development process, although apparently a bit of uncertainty on what to actually name the end product. And just to complicate things a bit further, the original release of Windows 98 or Windows 98 First Edition did in fact receive a service pack in June 1998, albeit unrelated to the work on Second Edition and much less exciting, including basically all of the bug fixes and security updates that had been released through Windows Update by that point, and no new features or application updates. Now coming back to build 2222A and the most significant changes here are in applications. So we have a new version of the internet connection wizard and this was introduced in build 2106. We also have a renamed and updated media player now called Windows Media Player which I'm sure you'll be familiar with. So this is now version 6 and was introduced in build 2106 although the name Windows Media Player came slightly before that in build 2017. Also there are updates for Internet Explorer and Outlook Express both now moving from version 4 in first edition to version 5 beginning with build 2017 with the latter also having undergone a UI redesign in build 2106. We also have a new version of NetMeeting included which is version 3 and finally a new version of DirectX version 6.1 whereas first edition had shipped with version 5.2. Of the very few changes elsewhere, the only significant ones are all in Windows Explorer. So firstly, web folders are finally here. Now for some reason I had it in my head in earlier episodes that these came with first edition, but like I said in that video I was actually wrong and it was second edition where they were introduced as you can obviously see here. And finally, there is now marginally smaller spacing or padding between toolbar buttons in Windows Explorer compared to in 98 first edition. And all of these Explorer changes, as far as I'm aware, came with build 2106. And one more thing, which I probably should have mentioned first, there's a very slight changing to some of the wording on some of the setup billboards in this build. 
And that's everything that I've discovered in build 2222A and with that we say a fond farewell to Windows 98 and to this series of videos. So as usual let me know if you find anything yourself in this build that I may have missed and I really hope you enjoyed the video and this series on the development of Windows 98 and I very much look forward to seeing you in the next series of videos. I'll hopefully see you then.